and the same way you have to draw. And what are the other two? We have to do two pair of two, two opposite sides, two opposite angles, and two uh, pair of two, two you have to do. Okay? So, in this one, I will tell you. So, RS and QP. One. Okay? One opposite uh, sides is there. And one more opposite. Pair is two. Two, two you should write. Q, R and P, S. So, one is R, S and Q, P. One more is Q, R and S, P. Okay. According to this figure, I told, but you have to draw the figure of A quadrant of A and M. You have to draw according to that. You have to say the two pairs of opposite sides and two pairs of opposite angle and two pairs of adjacent sides and two pairs of adjacent angle. Now in exercise uh, 4.6 we are going to draw a circle. Circle is a round shaped figure that has no corner. Any corner is there in the circle? No. And the edges also is not there. Okay. This is called a circle. Okay. Cause of a circle is C. The C is the center of the circle. From C to B. This is called radius. Okay. So C, A, B. This is also. Okay, A, C also, and the C, B also, it's called the two radius. Okay, so from the A to B, it's called the diameter. Okay, if your diameter, if you divide it into two equal parts, it's a radius. Okay, the diameter, if you are dividing it into two equal parts, this is one part and this is one part, that should be equal. This say how much it is a radius, this say how much it is a radius. Okay, so that is a radius. This part is called the radius. And one more, what is that R? Now R is the portion of the circle. One. In the circle, only this portion only we are taking. This R what we are taking, this is called the R. Okay. From here to here also we are taking, that is called the R. And next one is circumference. Circumference is the outline. Outline of the this line is called the circumference of the circle. This line is called the circumference of the circle. The next one is Semi, semi circle, CM. So this diameter will divide the circle into two, this one, okay. This is called a semi circle, half circle. Semi means what? Half. Half circle is what? See, if you draw this from here to here, this one is called a semi circle. Okay. The next part is car. Chord means only this line, S R. From here, the line is called a chord. Not to this one, okay, only this line, S and R is called a chord. Next one is uh, which one segment? A region in the interior of the circle enclosed by a chord, enclosed by a chord, and this R. Okay, this portion. Okay, this portion is called a segment. Next one is sector. A region in the interior of the circle enclosed by an R. Okay, this one inside the circle, this part is included the R. Okay, so enclosed by an R in one side and a pair of radii on the other two side. Okay, each pair on the other this side. Okay, this is called a sector. This portion inside the portion. This only, this one is called a sector. And this only, this line is called a part. In this line, and then enclosed with the arm. Okay, this one is called a segment. So, first you have to start the circle. Circle definition is right. Draw this figure and the force of the circle. I wrote that one. Some about the radius, diameter, and other things. That one you should write. After writing that, don't start it again now. You have to, after finishing your semicircle, you should write the yes of this. Chord is what and segment is what and circle is what. This side only you should write it. In the first, so first sum, I taught you all the definition part of the circle. You have to, so according to the speaker, you have to give the answer for the uh, A to H. Okay, question. 
And the next one is, is every diameter of the circle also a con? Con is what is in this line. Okay, inside the circle, or the line, or portion, or con if you are taking that is what we call. So in this whole, this one, okay. So this line is the, this is called a diameter. This is the chord you can say, yeah, you can say this is the chord. So, yes. You can say this one, A, B is the chord. Okay, A, B is the Huh. And the next question is Is every chord of a circle also a diameter? Diameter of a circle from here to here only. It will divide the circle into two chords. Okay, semicircle. Okay, this is called a semicircle. Suppose here you are drawing the chord. This is the diameter you can see. No, this is not a diameter. Only this one is a diameter. So, second answer is no. Okay. The third one is draw any circle and mark all the different questions they have given. You have to mark all this in the circle. Okay. The first question already they draw the circle. They mark them also. You have to tell which one is the circle. Okay. The third one is you should draw the circle and after the single circle you have to mark all the given questions. Okay. It's center. Okay. C is the center. Okay. Center is not here. And next, which one you have to mark? A radius. Radius. This one. From here to here. Okay, you can give any alphabet. D, A, B, C, A, B, C, or M, and then you can be the heroes. Okay? C, B. Yes, radius. Okay. Next one is what a, a diameter. Diameter is from here. Okay, from this whole land. Is a Yes, P. Okay. Yes, P is a diameter. Okay. okay. Next one is a sector. Sector is which one is that? This portion. Okay. This one is a sector. So you cannot uh, write the name of the sector. So that's why I am here only I am writing the sector. Next, next one is next one. What you have to do? A point. Mm, is the next one is a segment. Segment means this one the segment. Okay, this portion from here to this one. This is a segment. This is a segment. Okay. Next one is a point in its interior. Interior means inside the figure is inside any line you can keep one point. I will give you one name for this T. So T is your interior point. Interior point. <coughs> and the next one is what? A point in its exterior. Exterior means outside of the figure. So outside of the people. Okay. So here I am reading the name X. Okay. So X is what? Exterior. Exterior point. The next one is an arc. Arc is from here to arc is from here to portion of the circumference. Okay, this is called the arc. So from here to here. This, this one is arc. You use some color pencil for all this. Um, you have to share the sector portion also and segment portion also and arc also. You use the same color. Color pencil you have to use. Don't use the same color. Okay. The fourth question. Say to our boss, two diameters of a circle will necessarily intersect in the circle if you are drawing the diameter. Okay, from here and from here to here. From here to diameter. It will intersect? Yeah, it is intersecting. So the first one is 2. So A is 2. 
Okay, two diameter diameter of a circle. Now I showed the both the lines are intersecting, so it will intersect. The first question: two diameter of a circle will necessarily intersect. Yes, it will intersect. So that is true. A center of a circle is always the interior. Yes, the center of the circle is this one. It's an interior only. No, now there is not an exterior. So this is also true. So in assignment, exercise four point five, second sum you have to do as homework. Exercise four point six, first sum you have to do as homework. Here the chapter two book. Okay, in this chapter, basic geometrical ideas, whatever you learn about the line, line segment, rays, and intersecting line, parallel line, about triangles, quadrilateral, whatever, everything are very important for your higher classes. So um, read all of this. Okay, thank you, children.